What's going on YouTube? Derek here and I'm going to go ahead and do my thoughts on the Microsoft E3 conference. I did watch it yesterday. It was actually pretty long, like an hour and a half, which was crazy. But there's some pretty good announcements. Um, I think Microsoft really knew that this was a do or die year. And in my opinion, it was because as it sat, I wasn't going to support the next generation. But now I'm not going to lie. I'm a little more confident that maybe they know what they're doing. So big announcement. For probably the biggest announcement, they announced their next-gen console. Project Scarlet, it's supposed to be like, what, let's see, six times more powerful, or four times more powerful, I'm sorry, than the Xbox One X, and they announced that Halo, announced Halo Infinite is launching with it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really cared about Halo in like seven years, but what they showed of the game looked awesome. Um, they announced the new Xbox Elite controller, which looked really, really amazing, but it's still expensive. It's $180, but it had, like, spring tension on the sticks and all sorts of new features. That looked really cool. Uh, Project xCloud, a uh, game streaming service. Um, you can stream games from the console wherever you are off the Xbox. The, I think they said that it's going to launch later this year. Pretty cool. Double Fine Productions joined uh, Microsoft, and they announced, well, I don't know if it had already been announced, but they showed off Psychonauts 2. That looks really good. looks really fun. Um, I think that's the same company that did Brutal Legend, which is another great game. Gears 5, I'm not very interested. I just don't really care about Gears of War, but the new game mode they showed, the escape game mode, that looked really fun. And they are adding some Terminator stuff, which looked really cool, too. Big announcement for me, huge, huge announcement. The Outer Worlds, Oblivion, or Oblivion, Obsidian's new game. It looks like Fallout mixed with Borderlands, and I'm really fucking excited. Uh, that's going to definitely be a day one, October 25th. Got to get that. Elden Ring, uh, from, the, uh, from the guy that made Game of Thrones, and from um, it's made by From Software, so the people that just did... Um, Sakaro. Uh, looks like an open world kind of Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings kind of game. Looks interesting. Probably going to be hard as shit if it's made by From Software. Here's one of the least cared about announcements, I think, of the whole thing. Bleeding Edge. It's a new Ninja Theory game. It's like a 4v4 battle game. I don't really care about that one personally. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I think this was a pretty big announcement for some people. I still have not played Ori and the Blind Forest, and I know I really need to because when they showed this game off, it looked incredible, so I need to play the first one. Coming to Xbox next year. I don't know if that's going to be on other systems. Uh, another announcement, but this one had already been talked about before, Minecraft Dungeons. That's coming to all consoles, I believe, next year. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. That game actually looks really, really good, but I got... My worry is because, you know, it's EA. EA kind of sucks. Um, so I'm not going to be buying that one, I don't think. And I accidentally just started the video that was in the article. Uh, interesting game here, Blair Witch. Uh, that was an interesting announcement, but I'm not going to lie. When they are showing it off, it actually looked pretty damn cool. Um, kind of, kind At first I thought it was like The Walking Dead or Left 4 Dead, but Blair Witch looks cool. Can't say it'll be a day one, but I definitely think it looked interesting. Uh, another big announcement here, Cyberpunk 2077. That looks really, really awesome. I really love the art style, and it has Keanu Reeves, which is cool. Um, that launches next year. Game Pass for PC, that launched yesterday, I believe. Um, and they announced Game Pass Ultimate, which gets you Game Pass for console, PC, and Xbox Live Gold. 15 bucks a month. That is an amazing deal. I think Microsoft was very, very smart to announce that. Fantastic. I'm going to be upgrading my membership to that. Uh, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Eh, cool game. I've played it. I played Age of Empires, but not a big one. Forza Horizon 4, they are doing a Lego collaboration. Um, a Lego expansion, and it's supposed to be like a huge new world for the game, which is cool. I love Lego stuff, so Lego and Forza are cool. I don't have that game, though, so can't play it. Uh, Wasteland 3 got announced, um, but I still haven't played Wasteland 2, so I'm not going to be buying that one day one, but it still looks cool. Looks Fallout-esque, obviously. Uh, this was a pretty big one for me, and it was kind of a surprise, actually. Microsoft Flight Simulator. I love flight sims. Um, I love train sims, flight sims, driving sims, all sorts of stuff like that. Really love playing them. 
and the game looked visually really amazing. So I'm actually probably gonna be picking that up next year. Uh, they showed us uh, some Battletoads gameplay that looked really good. No release date, no even like estimated time, like quarter four next year or nothing like that. Looks really good though. Um, they showed another Borderlands 3 trailer, which uh, that's probably my most excited game this year. That is an absolute day one buy. So, so excited for Borderlands 3. It's going to be amazing. Very excited. Uh, another interesting one, Fantasy Star Online 2 is coming to the Xbox. Uh, I don't know if that got a release date, but that is pretty cool. Um, I'm not really into those kinds of games, but I know they're huge in Japan. And they announced State of Decay 2's new expansion, which nobody cares about because uh, it's a terrible game, in my opinion. Dying Light 2 got announced, which looked really, really good. I still haven't played the first one, but judging from the gameplay I saw of the second one, I'm probably going to go play the first one. That looked really interesting, really detailed, really, really colorful. Um, but some other lesser titles that got announced I'm excited for. 12 Minutes, that's the big one on my want list. Uh, that's the one I'm keeping the eye on the most. So it's a game, It's a, they only showed a little bit of it, but it's, you're stuck in a time loop, and I can only assume it's the same 12 minutes over and over and over again, and there's no way out. Looks amazing. Right up my alley. My kind of game. Looks great. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is another huge, huge title I'm keeping my eye on. That's probably a day one for me. I've been wanting a Dragon Ball Z RPG for years on console, and we're finally getting one that's not a fighter, and it is an RPG. So that's going to be awesome. Some Mobile Gears game. Crossfire X. That looked cool. Uh, looks like a shooter of some sort. Looked pretty cool. Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. That's uh, not a day one, but I do love the Lego games. That's pretty cool. Uh, they announced a new Tales game. Um, Tales of Arise. That looks... As soon as they showed it, I was like, yeah, it's totally a Tales game. Um, and the last one I'm going to touch on here, which is another one that I'm really actually pretty excited for. And it was a surprise, too. Way to the Woods, it looks like you play as a deer and it's kid or something like that, but I, the art style looked fantastic. Um, the setting looked amazing. I, that's definitely probably a day one for me. Um, I don't know if they gave a release date. Maybe it's already out. I have no idea. But if it's not and I get a date, I'm getting that. That looked really good. So overall thoughts, I actually was very surprised at the announcements this year. Very, very good because Microsoft... The Xbox One, they have, I think, finally realized that it failed. I mean, the Xbox One was a total failure. Uh, well, not total failure, but they're going to come in last. I mean, the Switch is already about to surpass it, I think. But really, really great stuff. Um, but it's suffering from the same problem as a lot of the games announced. Like, I'm assuming stuff like Blair Witch and Star Wars and Minecraft and all the other shit. A lot of these are not going to be exclusives to the Xbox. Yeah, Gears is, and Battletoads, and, you know, Flight Sim. But, you know, I'm assuming it's everything else, Dying Light, you know, 12 Minutes, Dragon Ball Z, those are all not going to be exclusives. And the exclusives they do have announced, not that interesting. But, hey, we'll see. That being said, that's my thoughts on the conference, guys. I'm going to be doing another one for Nintendo's. Uh, probably, I think that's tomorrow at 12 o'clock. I will definitely be watching that. Hopefully they announce some pretty more pretty cool stuff. Super fucking excited about Pokemon, though. Cannot wait for that to come out. But that being said, I'll see you all later.